Alrighty, next story here is Am I the asshole for speaking Italian to my girlfriend's rude Italian American family and embarrassing them? Backstory. Due to my dad's job, we lived in Italy for three years when I was younger, so I speak Italian almost fluently. It's been a while, so I've lost some of it. Recently, I started dating a girl. She's great, and I love her so much. I met her family a few nights ago for dinner. She warned me that the male side of her family is very big into being macho, into testing the boys the woman date, and are very big into taking pride in their Italian ancestry. I think besides the grandfather, however, they were almost all born in Bergen County, New Jersey. But whatever. It's nice to take pride in one's heritage. Long story short, at dinner, they kept making jokes at my expense. I honestly would not call it bullying, just things about my high beard, shaved head. They tried making fun of my tea job too, but stopped once I told them my income. It was overall not a bad experience, but a not so pleasant one. Anyways, her older brother kept pushing things, giving me exceptional amounts of shit for playing lacrosse in high school. Apparently, it's a sport of prissy, rich kids and not manly like football or baseball. He ended his rant by saying, Hey, we're just a big Italian family. We're loud and told how it is. Ha ha ha. And all the family except my girlfriend laughed. So I, for the next minute, responded to everything they said in Italian. My girlfriend buried her head in shame. The grandfather laughed and everyone else kept looking at each other, confused before telling me they didn't think I spoke Italian. I replied, then don't use your Italian heritage as an excuse to behave poorly when you can't even speak the language. They got mad, but the grandfather told them I was all right and to be quiet. My girlfriend isn't mad, just ashamed. I think the grandfather likes me, but word from my girlfriend's sister is that all the men are furious, think I'm a smartass, and that I disrespected them and their masculinity in an unforgivable way. So, am I the asshole? This, these boys needed to like be put in their place. I was actually going to say, like, I think they're just mad that they lost at their own game. You know? Like, if it's you got to talk shit... To be rude. <laughs> I don't think that, I, I mean, I don't know, like stereotypically in all movies and junk, Italians are like super loud and rude or whatever. But like, I don't think that gives you the out to just be rude in general. Like if that's not, first of all, if you're not very connected to your roots like that, then like, why are you going out of your way to try to be rude? You know? Yeah. I, so I like, just, like, I don't understand. You're having someone as a guest and all you're doing is criticizing them, making fun of them. Like, that's so shitty. Like, how would you like to be the one person in a room that you're not related to anyone and they're bullying you like that? Yeah. That doesn't make you cool. That's not funny. And the fact that they all, like, band together to... to like, think do that, this, yeah. To, yeah, that's horrible. And I think this is where I'm saying um, that having a good relationship with in-laws is a deal breaker for me. Like if they don't have a good relationship, like if this is my first time meeting your parents, I'm like, I'm out. Yeah. Yeah. Also like, why though? Like, is this something that you guys just did want? Like the, imagine like the first time, right? You guys did this and you're like, Oh man, that feels good. Huh? That feels good to just be rude to this one person. And he, they can't say anything because they're trying to make a good impression. And then from there, they just kept doing it to all the men that the, the well, girls started dating. To me, it feels like, like they're small men. They have little egos and be, they all like, they have fragile egos and they all like keep themselves feeling good by acting like, oh, we're, we're macho, you know? Yeah. So they're better than whoever comes in. I think they probably live their lives like this. Yeah. I think so. <clears throat> I just think like so. every is just at at the house. So I like think they, they definitely go around with this energy mm. and saying like, "Oh, I'm just big and Italian." Like, yeah. No. As an as like a cop out. Yeah. To like whatever shitty thing they do. Yeah, I. I love that the grandpa laughed. He's probably over <laughs> this shit. He he, probably, he's probably yeah. like, "Oh, you guys Italians, like you're not." The yeah. Grandpa was probably like, "Yeah, you idiots, you're." Do you suck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dang. I think it's so stupid too the fact that they're like that they don't even speak the language. Like how whitewashed are you, you know? Like we're Mexicans and we speak like Spanish, you know? Like maybe I'm not the best at it, but I still speak it, right? And these these guys are so like, you know, in touch with their heritage or whatever, yet they don't even speak the language. They're just stupid. That's just stupid. What do you think about how he he reacted though? 
with his like him started speaking fluently mm-hmm. and, and I, basically um, well, well what he said was rude to them you know i don't think it, uh, yes it was rude to them because this is like you're trying to make a good impression and whatever but like i'm all about petty revenge like that's one of my favorite topics and um and things to like to see so i'm all down for what, what he did as for the thing that he said i'm cool with it too just because like these people needed this like realistically someone like if they kept doing this bro the worst case scenario is they were gonna say the wrong thing to the wrong person and they were gonna get shown what murder. a real macho person yeah murder or something <laughs> and what a real macho person look like right macho so like i think the fact that this dude like told him like yo y'all stupid you know like y'all just dumbass and saying things that you don't even know like that's probably the best case scenario now they'll actually be able to reflect on it hopefully yeah you know, i feel of, like that definitely ruined his potential relationship like that could it definitely have developed it definitely hurt it no, but like, I, think, I like, hope that it's not damaged. ruined like they're never gonna like him based on the their egos i don't they're never gonna like them think yeah. so i don't think so you don't think people change you don't think this is something no. that they'll, they'll laugh about in like two what two years you be mad about being told that you don't even speak the language like it wasn't that the whole purpose of them acting like that in their words it's like they're testing him he proved yeah. that he can hang with them yeah and they got upset about it yeah they're not gonna change i guess there's like no winning other than just being yourself let yourself be abused by them huh yeah yeah uh, and then you have to like be okay with being in that type of like relationship environment yeah all righty uh op did have an edit to add here um they said there may have been some confusion as to my girlfriend's reaction she was ashamed her family dug so deep into me not about my response after wanting to die for the next 48 hours she agreed i did the right thing and that it was funny yeah, I assume that. I, I don't. Like that. The people like yeah. take a different approach to it. I just assume that she was embarrassed for the family members, not him. Uh, it kind of sucks what I said, where like this is a deal breaker because then like if you really like her, she's like, well, I I know I have a shitty family, but like I like I'm never gonna be able to have Are a they the boyfriend. brothers of her. Yeah, her brothers, her dad. Yeah. I think that's all there is, right? Uh, just probably just hang out with the grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're right. Uh, not like you have much of a choice at that point, to be honest. I wonder how they treat the woman in that family. Oh, uh, dude, I hope it's not shady. Because that is kind of the energy they're giving out, huh? Mm-hmm. That they're like, oh, yeah, you stay in the kitchen, bitch. I wonder how the mom <laughs> felt about it. <laughs> if she has a original. sister, how the sister felt about it. Mm-hmm. That'd be interesting to see. Yeah, huh? Uh, unfortunately, the, the person who posted this, it, they deleted their account. Mm. So... Like, I wasn't able to find, like, other comments or any more information on it. Um, but um, they there was a top comment on there. And the overall vote was not the asshole. Uh, top comment was, lol, not the asshole. The granddad knows it. He probably half rolls his eyes every time they say they are Italian when he knows he's the last speaker. You shut them down in the most epic slash appropriate way possible. Your girlfriend should be proud, flaunting that her boyfriend is more Italian than any of them. Three years is crazy to be able to like pick up a language. I wonder how old when he you're was. you're little, yeah, that you can do, yeah. totally do that. Yeah, but, like, was, what if he was like sixteen? Like, it's I think it's still doable. You were living in the culture. You were literally. Um, I guess so, huh? Being you immersed, had to speak it, so yeah. then you yeah. learn it. When you're forced into an environment like that, like mm-hmm. if you were in school, like, well, tough luck. Like, you need to learn the language. Right. I wonder what his original ethnicity is, too, though. Because, like, if he's Mexican and speaks Spanish, uh, Ital- like, Italian is kind of has some similar words to Spanish, right? So, like, if we lived in, in Italy for, like, a year, two years or something, I'm, I'm sure we could probably be able to figure out their language easier just because we have the Spanish uh like, background yeah, the dialect background. is easy yeah right so yeah i mean i i I think that's pretty baller like if the if the girlfriend was like Psh, my boyfriend really is more italian than y'all dumbasses you know that's pretty cool yeah, we'll have she should have with him and then the babies will speak italian and now they will be more italian than the the brother yeah <laughs> is it trick to having kids that speak multiple languages is like just move different countries every three years 
like, oh, yeah, my kid speaks French, Italian, whatever. It's probably this is what you do it, but, like, that's also, like, the most, like... Unstable home. Yeah, <laughs> unstable for them. Because then they're never really going to have a place. And they're all going to be confused. Like, what if they forget what their original is? I was obviously is? joking. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> now I look like the fool here. Um, uh, yeah, I think there's not that much, too. I think, the, um, if anything, hopefully... The family is the asshole. Yeah, the family yeah, is the asshole. The we do like the grandpa. Um, uh, hopefully they change their minds or they change the way they are and they can create a good bond in the future and just laugh about it. But they're just shitty people. I wonder if, the, if her brothers have uh, girlfriends. Oh, I hope not. I mean, they sound like assholes. So like, you know, there is someone out there for everyone. <laughs>